What's up, nerds and nerdettes, and we little nerdlings all? <laughs> it's your buddy, Big Johnny G for two. Gun Pixie presents Legendary Gaming. Hey, hey, what's up? It's time for another episode of Tabletop Takeout Tuesday, my friends. I'm your buddy, Big Johnny G, as you already know. <laughs> now, for Tabletop Takeout Tuesdays, I have to give you bullet points on why I like a game. It's not a full review. It's just the, the bullet points. We do a video every day of the week. Not all the Tabletop Takeout Tuesday. That's on uh, Tuesdays. But we do do a new episode of something every day of the week with uh, usually live playthroughs on Friday and Saturday nights. So if you like board games, you like unboxings, you like discussions, you like gaming stuff, RPGs, D&D, whatever. Come on, we got tons of that stuff here. Give us a subscribe. Come on, why not? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's get to the core, the seed, the reason for this very episode. Why well, join me down the table, my friends, and I'm going to tell you what it is that I've been enjoying about tiny, epic Viking. All right, so Cabling Games has a fantastically great history with the Tiny Epic series. Uh, they've been getting a crit hit after crit hit, more or less, <laughs> with all of these titles. And the newest one, Tiny Epic Vikings! Yes, the Jarl will be pleased. <laughs> so here we got a game that, for all intents and purposes, is supposed to leave you with a feeling like, like, in a tinier version, you've just experienced Blood Rage, or Champions of Midgard, or one of the other much larger footprint, intricately ruled mechanic games on Vikings. Which is another thing. I love the fact that there's another Viking-themed board game now. There's a few out there. Most of them are pretty damn good. But when you compare it to things like Cthulhu games and zombie games, or even nowadays... The superhero games. I don't think that there's been enough of a market for Viking games. So to see this, to have this, is another huge bonus for me. I really enjoy the the, the area control aspects of this game, uh, the, the card drafting of it, the deck building to a degree. Uh, it, it's got a, a set collection. I mean, it definitely does give you that feel, like I just said, of a Blood Rage or a Champions of Midgard. It has all the working mechanics in such a smaller form. How, how did these games get so big when we can see here from this that it's easier to make them small? <laughs> I don't know. But it does. It follows the same mechanics that a lot of the games on a larger scale use, and it does it fantastic. There's, there's no drawback. It doesn't feel smaller. It doesn't feel uh, less adequate at all in any way. It, it, it gives me that same big box feeling, which, which to me means that the name of Tiny Epic, in this case, is definitely working. They, Gaming Games have always done a good job, I think. Sometimes better, but they've always done a good job on components. And they continue to do so here. Uh, from the, the from the meeples to the cards to the tokens and it all looks great they they spent time in detail to make it all look aesthetically pleasing and thematically correct and looking at this does feel Viking which is what it should so it's doing its job on so many levels for the rules for the setup uh, for the components I mean, like I said at the beginning of this, this is like one crit hit after another. Now, speaking of the rules, without getting into it because this isn't a full review or how to play, I do want to say that I find that the rules and the use, and they do this a lot. This isn't unique. I'm not saying this is new and unique to, to this particular Tiny Epic game of Vikings. But here, I think even more so, the use of iconography 
know, it can be a little tricky. You got to get used to it after a game or two. But the iconography really isn't difficult, and it helps streamline your understanding of the rules. The use of the icons uh, in, in terms of what this does, what you need, what that does, it's, it really is straightforward. And like I said, it may take you a game or two to get used to the icons, but once you do, it's going to be like, why bother reading? <laughs> so when a game does that, it's a bonus. It's a plus Well, when it works. And for this here, it works. This is all about the glory of the clan. Your clan being the greatest glory and gaining that glory, that renown, that honor. This is what the core of the game is about. I think this game makes a good family game. I, I think it's it's a little more family friendly than a Blood Rage, though I don't have a big problem with that. I'm just saying that because some individuals may think it's a little bit too much for the younger kids. So this is a great way to pick up that slack. You got kids that, that want to play Blood Rage, but you think they're a little bit too young? <laughs> this is your solution. If you've enjoyed Blood Rage, but don't want to deal with the time and the setup and everything and just want a quick, quick fast, you know, experience, this is the way to go. If you're a fan of gambling games in general, this is the way to go. And uh, as I say often enough, if you're a completionist, if you have every other tiny epic game, now why aren't you getting this? <laughs> this is a fun game. It's going to keep you. It's going to keep you a little addicted. You're going to. This is the kind of game uh, that I think is really great for two, three plays in a row. This is the kind of game that that's made for that. But if you're looking for that style of game, then this this is probably what you're going to want to check into. But don't listen to me or anyone else that's an influencer. Make up your own damn mind. Influence yourself with information. Go watch some playthroughs. There's plenty of playthroughs on this game out there. Go check that out. A playthrough is the best way to determine if you're going to like a game. To actually see it played instead of listening to some talking head tell you what they feel about a game. Go check it out. And I think you just might be interested in tiny, epic Vikings. I'm your buddy Big John NG for Two Gun Pixie Presents. Legendary Gaming and I am...